the Aries uh, for you and what you can sort of expect in this relationship. So we'll lay out five cards from the Rider Waite deck to have a look and see who this person is around you, Aries, and what sort of relationship they're wanting to offer. Okay, what can you sort of expect? Okay, this there's there's a lot of healing that I think needs to happen around this relationship. Now, there's a lot of work that need that will need to be put into this connection, I feel, because straight away looking at the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, leads me to believe that this person is in a very emotionally vulnerable state when the two of you connect. And my understanding is that this person will need you to be strong for them. It's almost like they're going through hurt or pain or betrayal, but th they've lost trust. Now, whether this previous relationship was with you or was not with you, was fairly recent or in the distant past, the Ten of Swords still indicates that this it's still fresh for this person, basically. And they're still living through that Ten of Swords energy. Now, it could also be that this person is something to do with words. I feel like they might keep things from you, Aries. And it's so they don't hurt you, but it's almost like when you come into this relationship, you know, there's, there's parts of it which are going to be absolutely fantastic. You've got the Nine of Pentacles here, so I feel when the two of you do spend time together, you almost feel like you can see a future. You'll feel like time is going uh, so fast. You want it to stop. And there is genuine enjoyment with that Nine of Pentacles here. Not only in the physical realm in terms of attraction, but I think in how you connect when you see each other face to face in the physical realm. I think that's very powerful. And I think this person can genuinely bring you a lot of happiness, Aries. But my concern here would be is that they have things that they need to work on. They've been depleted. It's almost like they've lost hope and love. And I think when they meet you, you're going to be that yellow. The yellow shades you see in this spread is you, Aries. You represent the sun, okay? Um, it, you are a fire sign. So I feel the, all these yellow tones you're going to bring, it's almost like you're going to reinstall faith in, in for them again. But there's definitely, you know, it's it's not going to be easy. Um You've got the nine of the nine of wands is around this person, so they're definitely going to have their guard up, Aries. It's definitely going to be a challenge. But look, you like challenges. You're good at them, and you you are very perseverant. So, if you're wondering if you can ever get through these barriers and penetrate these barriers, so to speak, and and get this person or get the relationship going from this nine to that nine, I absolutely believe it's possible. I do because. The way this person is or what they've gone through, I think when they encounter you and you come together in a relationship, I think I think you're going to change them. I do. It's almost like this relationship is destined because you're going to help them heal. I do feel like you're going to give them the strength to walk away from something, Aries. So I attach this to a higher purpose as to why you're around this person or why they're around you. It's almost like you'll help them say goodbye to something. It could be an ex, it could be an addiction. The Five of Swords is walking away from something here. But I do want to say there is possibility that one of you will or potentially end up walking away from this connection because it doesn't give you what you want. The Five of Pentacles is, is a depleted connection. Someone is left out in the cold. Someone is more broken or someone is more needy than the other. And obviously, when you come together in a relationship, you're going to come to see that contrast and see which one of you is, is, is that person. It might be you, Aries. But the Five of Pentacles tells me this relationship needs, it's going to need a lot of help. Okay, there's a lot of things you're going to have to repair. And again, it might not necessarily have anything to do with you, Aries. This is this person's other trauma that's coming into the relationship. But in terms of what you can expect, I mean, this person might be very quick to leave or feel threatened. Or they may feel like you might leave them. So there's definitely insecurities. There's definitely a fragility. Um, you can see the person laying here, motionless. 
I don't think this is a very fast paced connection if I'm honest. I think it's going to take work. I think it's going to take a lot of patience. I think it can it can definitely be a genuine connection. The lover's card is coming up around this person. But in terms of the relationship, like I said, there's there's walls and barriers that are up. I feel that you, you, you'll have enough power or influence over this person to, to knock down those walls and barriers. So immediately I think that's a good sign. And like I said, you like the challenge Aries. I think you're perfect for this person in regards to, to bring them back to their full capacity and full strength. But the Ten of Swords can also be seen as a betrayal. And interestingly, it sits right above the Devil card, which was underneath that in the general reading. Now, immediately I think betrayal. Immediately, I think this person, because they're potentially in a dark place or not in a hopeful place in love, they may betray you with words, okay? They might promise you things they can't necessarily keep. And it could be because they want to protect themselves. Or it could be that they just want to have fun. They don't want to drag you down with, with whatever burdens or hardship they're facing, but there is neediness. I The word that comes to mind is codependency or clinginess. So I think there could be some of this behavior coming from this person. And because it's centered on the relationship, the kind of relationship they can offer you and what you could expect from them, I do feel like you, you this is something you could possibly expect for some of you. Perhaps not for all, but for some, I do think it's an energy of... this person but might become attached because I think a part of you will come through for them and will want to come through for them but they're going to rely on you a lot I think there's a lot of reliance there's, there's a heaviness here and I think that they, they might put that on you Aries whether this is whether this is a burden or not it's hard to say but the energy around that five of pentacles is not in a good place for some of you I don't feel this person will be in a good place to pursue a relationship Time will tell, and I think in, in, in order to build a healthy foundation and pursue a successful relationship, the both of you will need to address these issues. It cannot simply be one person carrying the relationship. And it's not so fact it's not so much that I'm seeing one-sidedness. Whilst there is a possibility for that, I'm not convinced that it's completely you that's going to be carrying the relationship. But what I'm what I'm trying to say is is that this person needs to recover from whatever this is, otherwise. They won't be in a good place and, and it could be a case of, it could be a major case of uh, the right person at the wrong time type of scenario. And the Ten of Swords can be endings and the Five of Swords can be walking away from something. Two Nines here indicate wisdom and completion. There might be a major lesson or lessons for you to learn from this connection, Aries. But there might be a walking away of sorts. Whether this relationship lasts until the end of time, you know, only time can reveal that. But I do sense that there could be an ending. There could be some sort of ending. This relationship would end fairly quickly. And I worry it's because of this person not being in a good space when the two of you do connect. But I'm always, I'm always hopeful in the future that once people have, have sort of reviewed themselves and learnt from things, they, they can come back and they can reach out if, if, if the attachment was strong enough. So I'm always off, off the belief of reconciliations and second chances. But I do see this sort of connection that's coming up around you, Aries. This is what this person is offering. But there will definitely be some beautiful memories here. The Four of Pentacles, this is... Maybe there's a message here you need to take the relationship day by day. This is all about being very present in the moment. And maybe that is the underlying theme here. It is the card that sits in the middle. So despite all these other cards, the triumph or the center of attention is that beautiful nine of pentacles. So there is light, there is hope, and that can be your pillar of strength to overcome everything else with this person. But I do hope this reading has been helpful, um, Aries. I do thank you for tuning in. It really does mean a lot. 